Hi. We now enter the lightning round of presentations, so I have about 12 minutes to talk to you. I'm Bob Coopin with Lauterbach, uh, working in the uh, West Coast office of ours in Vancouver, Washington. My colleague, Marcus, who's not here, he's the developer of our RISC-V debug support and uh, eager to get any feedback from you on how we can continue to enhance and develop our RISC-V support. So thank you very much for, for inviting us here to talk about Lauterbach debug capability for RISC-V. First off, Lauterbach's approaching its 40th year in business, found by Mr. Lauterbach himself, headquartered south of Germany in Hohenkirchen, and we have worldwide branches, a couple offices in China, France, Italy, uh, Japan. We do support out of Tunisia in addition to support out of the West Coast office and support out of Germany, and we have an East Coast office in the United States as well. A very flat organization with uh, 120 employees, the bulk of those uh, engineers, most of those working in our German office. But we consider ourselves an international and, and well-established company. Uh, we'd like to think that many people know to go to Lauterbach for debugging, uh, regardless of the architecture. So we're real happy to now be able to say we have RISC-V support for our debugging capability. Um, our strengths, technical know-how at the highest level. Debugging is all we do. Hardware, software, debug is something we've been doing for 40 years now. As an independent company, we've not been pulled into some larger entity. We've not been acquired. Uh, we're independent, uh, successful along those lines. Everything is done in, in our Munich office or in our southern, south of Munich. Um, from the housings, we have uh, plastic from old IBM PCs that we melt down, and we, we create our debuggers from that. Uh, do the FPGA development there, uh, everything all done in the Munich office. Um, and the tools are useful for the full range of hardware debug, hardware and software debug, I should say. Chip and board bring up, driver BIOS development, OS debug. We have a lot of kernel awareness uh, that we offer with our standard products. Kernel awareness is something that we're working on now for, for RISC-V. We don't have a whole lot of OS awareness for it at this point, but we consider if we'll be adding Linux in the not too distant future, or if we see certain OSs trending as being popular on RISC-V, like FreeRTOS, it's something we could add for kernel awareness for RISC-V as well. And then of course you have application, debug, and development on top of that. All, all supported in a very common environment called uh, Trace32. And in addition to our RISC-V support, we, we support a very broad range of microprocessors. Intel architectures, ARM, PowerPC, a lot of DSPs, a lot of older legacy architectures. Uh, we still have a number of customers coming to us and looking for support, believe it or not, for 186 and things like that. And we can continue to support that. 8051 is yet another example of a good old one. Um, the whole idea behind that is it allows you to make an initial investment in Lauterbach and continue to grow with that, continue to add architectures to the environment that you have. So our market, we consider ourselves the market leader, probably around 40%, and considering the consolidation we've seen in the marketplace, I think that's a pretty accurate estimate, and uh, worldwide in JTAG debugging capability. The, the tools... So Power Debug, this is a universal uh, debug module that you would then connect. Let me look in my other pocket. There we go. Then connect a JTAG cable to that. So we have two, two flavors of this. One is a USB 3 only connected device, and the other a high speed device with gigabit ethernet or USB connection to the host. And then it's also expandable, so if you wanted to add trace capability to that, we have a trace module that you could then add to, uh, to do uh, off-chip trace with your, with your J uh, in, a, in addition to your JTAG. Right now with RISC-V, we don't have any trace support, but as soon as we kind of see things progressing in the right direction, we'll be able to add trace support as well. So the, the debugger itself, available, go to lauterbach.com and you can check it out. It has a part number, it's LA2717, a JTAG debugger for RISC-V. In addition to that, we have a 10-pin um, connector to, to connect to your target. Our, our main our initial support is for all the Sci-5 the sci silicon, so we do have support for that right now. And you could then have a RISC-V debug cable if you wanted to add ARM to that, you can certainly enable it for ARM as well. You could enable it for ARC. 
You could enable it for QDSP, for Tensilica, for a range of other microprocessors in one cable connecting to the debug module for one, one connection to your target. So you can see as, and then on the other side, if you have an existing Lauterbach JTAG cable enabled for ARM or whatever, you can add RISC-V support for that. So the nice thing about that is, say you're doing a system on a chip, has a couple ARM cores on it, has some silica, maybe has an ARC core, but you want to start to evolve the silicon, you want to add RISC-V support, you want to delete other microprocessors or other, other cores off of that, your investment in the initial Lauterbach is maintained by then being able to add or, um, add RISC-V to ARM or, uh, or other, other processors there. So it's all part of the same environment, all used in the same IDE. Trace32 is the debug environment that you would be used. It's a software component that is licensed to the JTAG cable itself. You can have any number of Trace32 instances running on your host computers, and it just accesses the license via the JTAG cable. Trace32 integrates with your host platforms, uh, it, it integrates with Eclipse if you're using that. It integrates with model-based design tools. It integrates with your compilers and your target OSs. And also, it, it would integrate with simulation as well. If you don't have actual silicon and might have a simulation environment, we would be able to support you along those lines also. The IDE Trace32 PowerView is common across all our uh, microprocessors. So if you're using Lauterbach for ARM or Intel or any other processor, you'll have the same Trace32 instance there. It would be enabled such that you could be debugging ARM and other architectures in the same instance that you would be uh, debugging RISC-V as well. And with the debugger, standard across the board for Lauterbach, um, we would have the ability to, at startup to debug from the reset vector or attach to a target without altering state, load your program, in target, into target memory, extract the debug information, view the program code, view the stack, look at the variables, single step, whether at assemble, assembly or at high level, set your software breakpoints. And also, um, if you're, the, again, working on a software environment, it's the same environment. You can work on an instruction set simulator, bring the code over to your hardware, execute at that, or vice versa. It's a common environment for hardware and software debug. And you can view and edit your general purchase purpose registers, your program counter, your floating point registers, CPU. And we're going to have a demo set up outside there this evening. So you can certainly come by and check it out. And um, again, other features that you would expect from the debugger, view and edit the memory, display the current CPU st state, do your flash programming. We don't have multi-core multi right now, but we certainly will roll that out for either SMP or AMP on, on RISC-V. Um, additionally, for this five specifics, we have run control debugging for, via abstracts commands, support for both, both 32 and 64 uh, bit instruction sets, um, specific hardware instructions and data breakpoints for RISC V, support for the standard JTAG interface, uh, and also support for extensions on top of RISC V, either custom, ex custom extensions that you may want to implement or the standard expressions. And then we'll start rolling out Trace once things start to stabilize there, and then Linux and, and uh, other kernel target awareness. So you can go to lauterbach.com um, and get some more information from that. Just put in RISC-V, and you'll be directed to the debug page for that. And um, certainly eager to get any feedback on how we can continue to develop that. I think Lauterbach Engineering is known to be very responsive. Uh, we're very excited to be adding a new, new processor to our, to our family, so uh, any feedback, um, we'd be, we would certainly welcome that. Current release, again, target is um, RV32, RV64 ISAs from the Sci-5 Corplex E31 and E51. Uh, our demo will be running the Sci-5 E31 uh, processor. And then coming next, or coming as soon as, uh, soon as we, we can, multi-core support. Trace probably a little bit farther down the road, but again, also then adding more targets to that and additional debug modules uh, on top of that. So that's all I have. Thank you very much. I will yield back my time.